Hey, what's up, guys? This is 9103Mees. This video, I'm going to be showing you the must have tweaks on a jailbroken iPhone or iPod Touch. So, the first one we're going to be talking about is the 3D board. What this basically does is makes your home screen look like 3D vision. So, um, something like this. Okay, I'm just going to increase the Increase this so that you can see it very well. So you can see as I I'm not sure if you can see it, but as I move my iPod touch, it feels like it's 3D. But you can get that in the CDR App Store. You see that? Shake it so it moved. So that's the first one we're gonna talk about. I'll take it back to my NMR setting. Yeah. The second one we're going to be talking about is Barrel. Well, Barrel gives your um, home screen a very nice transition while you swipe through all of them. There are different types of transition. Right now I'm using the coil and roll away. Um, you can choose whatever you like from cube inside, cube outside, page slide down, page slide up a lot. So I'm just going to try one something else for you to see see that nice transition uh, let's try another one in which you can see very well let's try the icon collection so you see that it's pretty nice um, it's about um, $2.99 on the app store I think see the app store not so sure about the prices anymore because it's been long so I just put back on my setting. The next one we're gonna be talking about is um color keyboard. Well, this basically just change changes the color of your keyboard to black. You can put a background image, complex, simple, more rounder makes your keyboard round, like the place the place in which the letters are. So I'm just gonna show you my keyboard. I set it to black, and yeah, you can see how it is. Black keyboard nice so the next one we're gonna talk about is um, um, fake clock walk fake clock up um, this basically increases the rate the, the speed at which your um, how will I put this it doesn't increase the increase the speed of the device it just makes your device look very fast you can see when I open this up, you can see how fast it goes. Uh, I can increase the speed. Now I'm using 2.0. I can put it on 10 times faster, 5 times, or 1 over 10 times faster. I'm slow. That is going to be slow. 1 over 10. So let me just put it on 1 over 10 and let's see how it's going to look. Oh my gosh. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> yeah nice I think I'm gonna use that <laughs> but for now I use my 2.0 I would select later so the next one is called infinite dock this um, basically increases the number of icons you want on your dock right now I'm using five and yeah five icons on my dock and I made it scrollable so I can add five on each page on the dock. Yeah. So yeah. The next one is called mask. Well, this mask you can. Uh, I love the way it came in. This mask um, basically just mask your um, home screen, your icons. You can see this head. This kind of a skull I have. If I'm on top of my wallpaper, this call, yeah, it's due to the mask. And also, I can, yeah, you can see what happens when I open my um, applications. It also gives this a mask feeling, the scroll, before it opens the app. Yeah, see that? That's what the max mask does. You can enable icon mask if you wish. 
just choose the kind of settings you want it's pretty cool so the next one is called move to unlock you can change the way you want to unlock your home screen you can see how I unlock my home screen uh, my lock screen my iPod sorry not home screen so mine I pull it up to unlock from this padlock I just slide it up like that and it unlocks so there are different types you can choose the one you want you can choose the side you can choose flip away like a book things like that it's gonna um unlock like you open on a page you know on a book so the next one is called multi flow this basically changes the way um your device multitask like it gives it this very cool look when you double tap you can see all the um, apps that are running on my device you can just pick like this double tap again go to this pretty nice huh? double tap it's better than that normal um, Apple boring multitasking I can just close easily like this close so easily I don't want to close the settings and yeah pretty nice you can choose different types of switching, switching style you can make it a cat style you just double tap and it looks like this card you can swipe left or right uh, what the I don't know what I did there I still have to look at the app because I think there's some new things so let me open a bunch of applications and show you how the card style looks you can see my loading screen pretty cool that's done by mask so you can see how the card style looks uh, sorry yeah just pretty looks good I think when you slide it up it closes the app swipe it down to it closes the app wow this is nice yeah I think I'm gonna change it to card <laughs> so the next one um, is called come on open up page preview um this basically makes you go straight to your um, page if you're searching for an application you can just go straight to the page without swiping it's useful for those who have a lot of apps like me I have about 120 applications and if I'm looking for an app I just keep swiping 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 to the end but with page preview I can just put my hands on those dots if you can see them just put my hands and it shows me the page and I can swipe to the next page shows me the next one swipe page for like that like that with my hands and if I just want to open up an application for example I want to open the first one translate I just leave my hand on it like that and stop on the translate and it goes to the page and it's supposed to open the app too but I don't know let's try it again let's try this one see it opens the app so that's basically how it works just gonna close this so it's gonna be very useful for those with a lot of apps and yeah I think that's all for the tweaks what else what else um yes yeah, Safari download manager this basically makes you able to download files on your Safari browser like if you want to download um if you click on the file this time it shows you a download um this thing download them um, button to tap and I think you can also view your downloads uh, I don't know if I have any downloads to show you but yeah you can view downloads it has it, it adds this extra button over here just tap it and it views the downloads I have no download so that's basically it and um, one other tweak I want to show you it's also on the Safari I don't know the name I think it's um, pull to refresh this basically makes you able to refresh your Safari um, browser whenever you pull down you see it says release to refresh so when you pull it down it basically refreshes the page and you pull it down again it stops so pull it refresh 
stop. Um, I think it's um, it's um, pull to refresh Safari. Yeah, that's the name of the tweak. You can search that on Cedia. Pull to refresh, and the next one, it's an application. This is called um, Intel Screen. I think I made a review on that in my previous videos. This basically makes you able to add this on your home screen add some information me i added my news and uh, my weather for more information you can check out my video on the intel screen yeah so this is it the most have applications and tweaks on a jailbroken device you can get them all from cedia some are paid some are free but yeah um i yeah that's basically it i can show you guys how to get some for free but i'm not gonna um advise that but yeah i can just show you guys in my next video so please tell me what you think and yeah the tweaks you like you can comment below and don't forget to rate and subscribe 9210 to signing out peace